That's a good question. And, and I like the way you laid it out because we, we have, I see this frequently and I have parents that, that have this occur. Um, well, I want to say frequently, but I just said frequently, but I'm going to go ahead and, and say it like that. When they get into these meetings and let's say the 70 minutes that you mention, you know, that you got to look at it as that is your threshold of what the, the IEP team prior to this new IEP meeting or ARD, as they're called in some states, um, has determined that that is the threshold of what is required for a free and appropriate public education. Okay, so you come in. You guys make some changes to the goals and some add some accommodations. And what you would like to do is you would like to implement that and take data and go from there. And what was recommended by other people on the team is to reduce that 70 minutes to 45 minutes and then proceed. Well, that's a reduction of service time. And I don't know what changes were made to your goals or additions made to accommodations or changes to class schedule. I don't know what changed there uh, because that might change my opinion of the 70 to 45. All right. But I'm basing it strictly upon the fact that there's 70 minutes. You've been maintaining 70 minutes, made some adjustments, and then somebody came in and wanted to lower it. And I'm basing my answer on that alone with the caveat that I don't understand all the all the changes that were made uh, because there is a possibility that I could see the logic behind the reduction um, but I'm I'm leaning toward how you've laid it out because I don't ever think it's good to reduce the the minute of intervention or services uh, until the data collection is there to support the need for the reduction. Okay, and and it sounds like to me that that you didn't go in there with that intent or purpose to reduce the service time. Uh, you were making adjustment in other areas, so that's why I'm I'm gonna maintain that track on on my answer. But because this was determined as a threshold, the seventy minutes. And it was just suggested that, you know, it, that they try 45 minutes, then I do agree that the reduction shouldn't occur without any supporting, without first um, what we would call exhaustion. That we try it here, we take data here and maintain the level of service intervention here before the IEP team comes back and, and determines that that we try this next okay um so you are absolutely correct on that uh and i think that that's the best way to go and i frequently frequently see that to where schools from year to year um without any kind of justification um or without any kind of supporting documentation will sit there and play with these these kids uh, service intervention times that let's say this year they got 45 minutes um of of uh of let's say uh, reading instruction and then the very next school year they switch it to 30 minutes of reading instruction in a small group but then there's absolutely no rhyme or reason why they did that there's no data collection to support why they did it the parent doesn't have a clue they were in the meeting and and most of the time this stuff is already filled out and it's just what they did well in those kind of situations it's just not difficult for somebody like me to come in and say Okay, this is a substance change. It's, it's not a procedural violation. It's not a procedural change. You made substance changes to the child's intervention. And even though it was, you know, last school year, these build upon each other. So if the child is making progress at 45 minutes, why didn't we maintain the 45 minutes? But if the child didn't make progress at 45 minutes, which sometimes is the case, then why the hell did you move it down to 30 minutes and then add a small group in? Because, you know, that, that's a reduction in two separate areas. Um, because one-to-one, -one, and, and look, and I don't know where, and I don't know where educators are, are getting this crack information from, 
but you know there 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 seems to be this idea that you know if a child's working one to one with a teacher it's it's a more restrictive setting than a small group and my thing is that that's i don't know where they're getting that from uh, it, or or if if an aide for example is is with a child in a general education setting that's the most restrictive you can get because an aide's with the child no that's a push in service that's a push that that is a supplemental aid and service uh, to maintain the child's LRE, which is general education. If the child is outside of the general education environment over here with an aid, this is more restrictive. Pushing somebody in and the services in to maintain the child's presence in a general education environment, that is their least restrictive setting. So in your particular situation, you know, this, this is, that's how you've got to look at it. Now, that's where I'm, that's when I had said earlier, the 70 minutes as opposed to 45. The reason I was a little bit cautious on that is if the goal was to move the child into more of a general education environment, then, you know, whatever changes you made within those parameters may have triggered the thought process or the logic um, that this would be more, more or, or least or less restrictive. So just keep that in mind. But as written, I do not disagree with your logic that you first go with the 70 minutes before coming back and, and, you know, moving toward a position of, of, uh, a reduction in that, unless it's justified and there's data collection to support it. Okay.